previously on Heroes Next Door. next door thank you all for watching today is part two of basic vehicle rescue with an EMT student just want to walk you through some of the stuff that you're seeing here you notice that they're putting some cribbing underneath the side of the vehicle uh, this is wood cribbing that they use to stabilize it to keep it from rolling over on itself. On the back side of the vehicle or the underside of the vehicle, they're using a system called junkyard dogs where you can use uh, braces to make sure that it also doesn't tip back onto its wheels. The thing that we want to make sure with any vehicle is we stabilize it so when we do start eating, either making cuts or climbing on it or in it, it doesn't move. We want to make sure that these vehicles do not move for the safety of our providers and the patients. So stabilizing the vehicles, learning the quick and easy way to do this is very, very important and these students are learning it now. You're going to see three different scenarios today. The first scenario is a single vehicle flipped on its side with one occupant. The students are going to be challenged to figure out how to get in, stabilize this person, and how to get them removed without cutting the vehicle. No, I think you could go in the back. Can you hand me those sins, please? 
Scenario number two today is going to be the same vehicle on its side. This time it's going to have multiple occupants uh, and they're going to use the hydraulic tools to do the cuts uh, to gain access. Students are very focused on patient care at this moment in time. They're letting the rescue do their job. But look at how many people it takes to do this. You have at least one provider in the vehicle making assessments of the patients. You have multiple providers outside making sure the backboard is ready, making sure the stretcher is ready, having their jump bag in case they need to hand supplies in like a C-collar or any bandages. But then all the fire department guys or the rescue guys are also on the scene. They're getting all the equipment set up. They're using those hydraulic tools, uh, and it can take two or three guys. Guys can't reach that student phone. Right. We could, but we couldn't move it up. When I talk about hydraulic tools, there's multiple different tool tips that you can use with the hydraulics. You can use a spreader, you can use a cutter, or you can use a ram to help you gain access to these patients.
remember anything from the accident? Uh, no, we just blamed him. We did something that I didn't do. Grab my arm. I Can you lift your hips you. up at all? Uh, I mean, they're kind of strong. Uh, no. Can you grab on the board? Well, that's why I'm scared. All right, get him, get him up on the board. Let's go. You want him up a little more? We're going to drag him up on the board. So grab on. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, good. Beautiful. Let's go. Right. Everybody take up the side. Got it? Ready? I got Come on, can you get someone in the corner here? We're in here, I got it. You want to get someone in this back corner of the left? Somebody get that other board in there and get him out. Alright, I'll put them down and then you just get them strapped up. Ready? Alright. Drop. Oh. Oh. Alright, we All right, need like the bracing things for the next one. Here we go, we got Let's two. Go. They're getting strapped over because it's back. Alright, So, like. Huh? Sure. Alright. How's your arm still? Good. Good. Yeah. He looks like he's in pain. No, he's just saying that he's in pain. He's not hurt. You're acting? Yeah. All right. the board behind him. I'm going to pick this up. Are we going to take it out behind him? Or? Yeah, I'm going to put him right up on it. And then I'm going to switch to his feet if someone can grab his chest. You want to get the back up there? Yeah, we'll go yeah, get it. Give yourself a hug, your arms are going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to lift him up and put him on the board. You guys ready? Yeah, so you're, it's going to go, we're going to go behind him? Yeah, right on the side. Right underneath. Are you guys ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. I'll take these mine now. Somebody take the sheets. You know when you guys are good? Count it on whoever's holding this Alright, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, beautiful. Let me know when you guys are good. Three, hold on. Hold on. Don't drop me. All right, ready? I'm the on the on the head. Three, two, one. Our third scenario is gonna be a mass casualty accident. We designed it to have a T-bone type accident with one on its side. We're gonna have multiple occupants per vehicle. Kind of give you an idea of what's going on here. It may seem like a little bit of chaos because you have a driver that's yelling and screaming, you have people in the back seat, you have one on the hood. Let me kind of paint the picture for you. This was a group of guys that were out uh, at a party or a convention, uh, had a little bit too much to drink, ran a stop sign, and was T boned. The truck that actually T boned the car flipped on its side, so you have people in trap there that they're going to have to take care of plus the four occupants inside and a victim on the hood. This scenario is an extreme case. You're gonna see yelling and screaming and noise. The idea behind this is to give our students the most chaos scene they can handle uh, so they understand what the noise level is gonna be like, what the distractions can be. So even though our driver is relatively unhurt, he's gonna be yelling and screaming and making noise and being very uncooperative, uh, almost like he was too intoxicated or on some kind of drug that we don't know of. Uh, these are all challenges that the student's gonna to have to work through uh, and prioritize victims. Do they go to the front? Do they go to the back? Who do they get out first? All these things are very, very important. And uh, let's see how they do.
on the back of the hood with the blue helmet is actually one of the rescuers. The reason he's going through that, they were able to break out the back window and made an assessment that me was playing a victim, was in the back seat, and I was unresponsive. They were unable to get an assessment on me because I was nonverbal. So they're assuming the worst at this moment in time. He is going to hold C-spine precautions and put me in a C-collar while they do a roof removal in order to gain access to this patient. While he was holding C-spine, he was talking to me the entire time. He gave me ideas whether I was awake or not. He told me uh, what was going on. He said there was a saw next to my head. They were protecting my head with his hand and his arm and his, his bunker coat. Uh, and then they finally were able to open the door and start dragging me out. At this moment in time, I am unresponsive, but I do have a pulse and I am breathing. I made it a challenge for him too. Notice my legs are tied up underneath the seat. I got all this bunker gear on. I wanted them to work through the problem of how to remove me. They're putting me on a backboard and they're scooting me out. But pay attention, I'm gonna do something here that really is trying to throw them for a loop. They have all the other chaos going on. That driver still being a pain in the butt. You got another victim right next to me. And all of a sudden, as I'm moving, I come back to consciousness and I am surrounded by all these people and I start freaking out because I had a head injury. You know, just because someone goes unresponsive doesn't mean that they won't come back. And if they do, you need to be prepared on how to treat that patient. Oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh, 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 I want to take a minute and thank Pennsylvania Ambulance for hosting this class of EMTs and basic vehicle rescues. Thank you to the rescue team that came out to help with the class. And I want to say good job to these students. It was a very stressful, very long, uh, very hot, dirty day. And these students hung in there all day long. Thank you for watching Heroes Next Door. Today was a great day. We did a lot of training with these guys. This was a day in the life of an EMT class learning basic vehicle rescue. Thank you for joining us. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe, hit that notification so we can keep bringing you more. We'll see